Well, before we get into the contents of this article, can someone enlighten me on what the f is going on here? How do y'all have a deep dive seafood presentation on Discord and not invite me? This is like when Sonny pulled a gun on Spooner, except at least Sonny took him with him. Apparently there were seven new clips at this seafood presentation that gave us much more insight on the feel of the fighting in seafood, not to mention some of the HUD aspects of the game. Now, let's start with the obvious. Seafood looks and sounds similar to Absolver. Well, T-dubs, you're a wild guy. But his fighting style isn't a copy. Alright, that cool? All of Sifu's moves are inspired by Pac-Man Kung Fu. <gasps> All of Sifu's moves are inspired by Pac-Man Kung Fu? What? At least, that would be my reaction. If we haven't been covering this game for months, come on, son. Give me something new and juicy. As a matter of fact, you know what? You clearly been peeping my vids, so I'll take it from here, T-dubs. Because that's how we do it when we do it. Split it up Half Moon style. Alright. Now I'm wild. Now according to T-Dub's article from PC Gamer, there will be about 150 attacks for the main character to learn throughout the duration of the campaign, which is fire to say the least. For my Tekken fans, that shouldn't be too foreign to y'all. For those who aren't used to Tekken, my apologies. Oh well. Apparently a few of these 150 moves include a pushback cancel, which is a way to combat shoves, a move called crooked foot, which refers to moves we've seen in some of the gameplay clips where the main character throws the enemy after a successful parry, and the famous rush slide kick which we've seen in more than a few of the gameplay clips. But now that that putt putt shit is over, let's talk about the real game, the controls. Apparently, they'll be pretty basic. According to Tita, they saw the menu and the controls were something like XXXXX and XXY, which first is too many goddamn X's, but the point is the X's and the Y's in Sifu correspond to light and heavy attacks, which as gamers we've seen in many a different game, so that's something that won't be foreign to any of us. Now of course, when I first saw the controls, I thought the X's stood for kisses and the Y's stood for why the f wasn't I at this presentation? <clears throat> Anyways, of course on PC, Sifu will support mouse and keyboard and will support the ability to remap the controls if you don't bangs with the default controls, but it will also support console controllers, which is honestly really convenient and makes me very happy because when I play games on my PC, I personally like to use a controller. Get that haptic feedback-ish going, you know what I mean? And you know that's clearly the only correct way to play this game on PC? is because the executive producer Pierre Tarno would go with the controller as well. As far as the other two controller face buttons, they correspond to picking up weapons and interacting slash vaulting. Y'all know we always gotta have action buttons for opening doors and whatever. Now Tito's clarified in this article that taking advantage of each combo's tactical opportunities, such as knockdowns, pushbacks, and stun effects was essential. He goes on to say that during a combo you can bounce between opponents without breaking the chain of attacks. Hmm, wonder why I never thought of or said anything like that. L1 parry to square counter first enemy. Left analog stick backpedal. L1 parry. R1 perfect duck dodge. During stand up, square plus X takedown. Damage to second enemy, hyper extended elbow. Recovery, several weeks. Mental damage, negative thoughts. Some like, damn, I'm really ass, or damn, that shit really hurt it. I picked the wrong one. Recovery time? However long it takes to get over regret. Main character, talking hella shit, which is expected because these enemies ass. <laughs> huh. Now to continue this elaboration on the controls of Sifu, apparently the right trigger is bound to dodge while the left trigger parries attacks when timed correctly. Or it can be held down to block attacks. But now remember when we made those references to Dark Souls and Sekiro and the creators of Sifu said that Souls games were an inspiration? Well, four months in. Here that go. Now, according to this press presentation, there is a meter on your block. So obviously, it's one of those situations where as contact is made on your block, the weaker your block gets, which means you can't block forever. If you try to block too long, your guard will break and it'll leave you open for a cataclysmic concoction of a bunch of attacks, which means, yep, you guessed it, you have to be strategic and mix up your dodges, parries, and standard blocks. In the presentation, they went on to clarify that there will be an enemy guard meter as well to match ours which is only right for symmetry. When you fill an enemy's guard meter, an on-screen prompt displays which two buttons to press to perform a finishing takedown. Wait, 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 wait. Word? And there's a focus meter? Wait, 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 yo, I can't believe I never, ever, ever in life thought of that. The other games I named there take down the special moves and every single one of them has a focus meter of some kind. Fighting with props. In the right hands, a simple piece of wood can become a deadly weapon. What? In the right hands, a simple piece of steel could become a deadly weapon. 
<laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But it's pretty self-explanatory. If y'all have seen any of the clips that Slow Clap has released on Twitter, or if you've seen any of the trailers, you know that you can throw bottles at enemies, kick bottles at enemies, kick stools at enemies, throw iron pipes at enemies. Pretty much anything you can get your hands on, you can throw at an enemy. But don't get too comfortable, because y'all remember, the enemy just might catch that shit. Moving on. Age is just a number of failures. Now, if y'all saw the delayed video, y'all probably already know this, but if not, uh, here you go. Whatever amount of times you croak, that's the amount of years that gets added onto your age. So like this, the first time, it's just two years, which concludes that it was the second time they got clapped. The third time, three years are added. The fourth time, four years are added. And you see 49 went to 54? Yep, you genius you. You guessed it. It's the fifth time they got clapped, so five years gets added. Thank you, Yanko of the past. But seriously though, if they don't start putting inspired by the Yanko and the Afro Pirates on these articles, I'm gonna have a serious Roscoe Jenkins moment. Give me some credit! Show me some damn credit! Cause Damn it. But I will give T-Dub credit for this though. Yeah, I know how before in the other vids we were talking about whether or not there's gonna be stat changes, and a few of you asked me those questions in the comments. Well, we did get an answer with this presentation. So there's really like three stats, maybe four if they add speed. But the one stat is your age, which will get older as you die, which we know. The second stat is that your max health will actually go down as you get older. But the third stat, and arguably the most important stat, is that you will get stronger so the damage you put out will increase but of course with the decrease in your max health comes less hits that you can take before catching the L. Now before we wrap this vid up let's talk about the last few really interesting things that we learned at this presentation. Now the first thing is that you can choose a male or female character at the beginning of the game and it doesn't have any effect on the story. Okay we knew that one already so yeah. Now we also learned that there will be dialogue options at certain points in the story, some of which that results in avoiding confrontation altogether. Now, none of us are really trying to do that. This is a kung fu based game where our goal is to get revenge, so everybody gotta get the beats. Now they also clarified in the presentation that the last enemy standing in a room will sometimes go into a frenzy that creates a mini boss fight. Alright, that's kind of lit. I mean, that's just, you're going to see some of these enemies' minds snap, and then they're just going to try and take you out with the quickness. Then we also learned that there's a detective board that contains all the information gained throughout their different runs, and that the information on this board has the potential to open up secret areas and shortcuts, which is obviously fire because you will have the ability to unlock certain moves permanently so that you'll still have them during your next run. But most of the moves will be Tom Hanks and Castaway, which makes us the ship and... <laughs> Yeah, hopefully, you know, not in this guy's version of Castaway. His luck must fucking suck. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not. It's really not good, bro. I'm so sorry. Anyways, there will be shrines where you can heal and unlock skills, which is very Sekiro-ish. And apparently, if you dispatch enemies efficiently enough, enemies in the area might cower instead of fighting back. And cowering enemies can be interrogated for more info on the main goal, which is the revenge. And last, but definitely one of the most important things, is that in between levels, you can return to your Kung Fu school, or Wu Guan, where you can practice moves. So, you're gonna wanna be in there probably a good amount. But that's all I really got for y'all today. Y'all let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this information was, what you're looking forward to the most, what you may not be looking forward to the most. Let me know down in the comments. And I just want y'all to know that I really do love and appreciate y'all. Y'all got me to a video that is at a thousand views and it's actually almost at 2,000 views. And I can't express to y'all how much I appreciate that. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join the Afro Pirate Crew because we going up. There's now 179 of us, so let's get to 200 and beyond. Word to Buzz Lightyear. But I'm going to catch y'all in the next vid, alright? Peace.